Hey there, Tim here. Today we're going to look at the Dashware software. It allows you to put gauges, uh, overlay them onto your video uh, using the GPS telemetry from your camera. So before we can look at the software, got to go for a ride, get some video to use, and uh, so I'll be back. So now that I've got some video footage riding the uh, Honda ST90, it's time to overlay the gauges using Dashware. Now if you've got a GoPro, you can use the Quick software from GoPro, but it doesn't work with all Windows versions, only Windows 10. I've got Windows 7 Business, and so I can't use the Quick software on this computer. So that's why I'm using the uh, Dashware. Um, however, when I start using it, I, I learned that there's quite a bit more to it um, than what you can get with Quick. So let me give you a really quick overview of this software. You've got your screen right here. When, when I load the video, it'll show up right here. Uh, you've got some controls down here that you can use to move along or to play the video, to edit, the uh, start and the ending of it, basically to cut whatever you want out of it, um, and control the volume as well. Over on this side of the screen, you've got a number of tabs up above. You've got the project tab, which gives you project information, input settings, overscan settings, project gauges, that you're using and then an action history that tells you what you've been doing or what you've done to the video. Then you've got synchronization. Uh, once you've got the video you can if you have to you can synchronize the uh, the data or the telemetry and the gauges to the video. Um, I haven't had to use this yet because when you load the GoPro video it automatically seems to synchronize everything. Then you've got analysis by time, analysis by position. I haven't had to use these yet either. And then you've got your gauge toolbox. And here you can see um, quite a few gauges that you can use. Up above you've got a filter and then you've got thumbnail size. This thumbnail size allows you to basically change the size of the gauges that you're looking at. Um, makes it easier to see if you want to see a little more detail or if you want to reduce it down you can go down to smaller gauges so you can fit them all fit more on here I like something where I can see a little bit better so I'll go with this right here now if we scroll down you can see the different gauges some of them are related to air or air, air flight or airplanes um, such as airspeed in knots, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, altimeter, um, a lot of different altimeters, altimeter, I always have a hard time saying that for some reason, your altitude minimum and max in feet or meters, and you'll notice almost all these gauges give you the option of either feet or, or meters. Uh, you've got arc gauge and this gives you a, quite a bit of information in one gauge such as your speed and brakes and throttle um, now some of these gauges don't work if you don't have the right sensors if you weren't using the correct sensors on the video um, some of them don't you know with the GoPro GPS telemetry won't show you your brake or throttle um, Although it does seem to do some of the throttle, but it didn't show brakes when I've done that before. 
uh, ascent and descent in feet or meters. This is kind of neat because it keeps track of the total ascent and descent so you can see how far up you've climbed in altitude or how far down you've gone. Your heading maps, um, speedometers in kilometers or, me or miles, um, a lot of different versions of speedometer uh, which are kind of neat. Uh, just a lot of different gauges some related like I said to flying airplanes um, some related to racing cycling such as your cadence um, then your dart or your charts and this will show you know your your altitude and feet your how far you're climbing it it gives you a a graph or a chart that it's kind of neat to watch, kind of neat to see on your overlay or on your video. Compass. GPS info. This kind of combines your speed and altitude and the, the heading map. You've got a logo you can put on. Um, date and time, a digital bar, formula car cluster. Now this again you'd have to have certain sensors mounted on your to use some a lot of these. Um, speedometers, different speedometers again for racing in this case, heart rate, logger dash so it's really just amazing all the different gauges you can use satellite count if, uh, then you've got scuba gauges if you're using say your GoPro down underwater this you can use for some of those sensors um, or other sensors that you've got GoPro might not be able to provide you all the information that you would need to use some of these uh, gauges steering angle UAV analysis bar if you're say flying a drone or a UAV you can use the uh, telemetry from that for this thermometers in, in uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit uh, UAV again cluster just it's just really cool to see all the different choices you have um, vertical speed uh, you've even got down here wingsuit so if you've seen those guys that fly the wingsuits there's some gauges that they could use if they've got the sensors on their wingsuits to provide that information so it's really just quite a bit more to choose from than just the, the traditional GoPro that you might have. Um, I can see that this video is a little longer than I had hoped to. Now up here what I've been doing because I haven't used this a whole lot is I usually go to the help and then the show me how to create video and data project and it gives you 10 steps down here basically tells you what to do. Uh, create new project go to the file menu new project and it's over here you can see it is flashing so it's telling you to go up here um, new project give the file a name uh, let's see we'll just say um, Honda ST90 which I um, we'll leave the date there, Dashware project. So as a default right now it goes to the GoPro temp template in Imperial. Um, I could choose a few others from default GoPro and I can do it in metric and then you've got all these different gauge or defaults you are different basically uh, templates that you can use. Um, if I do the GoPro and I say I'll hit OK. 
Uh, let's see. I believe now I have to, well, actually, I think I was supposed to choose my video, but I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Um, actually, let's go to the next step. Add video file to the project by clicking Add Video File um, right here. And let me see, my, let's go to GoPro. Actually, I've got the file that I want to use on the desktop. So we will use this video. And it's extracting the data from the video. Might take a little bit of time, but you can see that it is extracting the data. I may cut a little bit of this out just to save time. And I may end up showing the uh, the final product in a separate video since I'm already up to 10 minutes on this one. But it's extracting the data. It's already got the video here. And as you can see, it has the uh, gauges, the GoPro gauges that typically um, you can find with GoPro or uh, that come with the GoPro. Um, I believe it's if you have a GoPro 5 or Hero 5 Black and later you'll have the GPS telem telemetry um, available to you. So I'm going to put add data file and now it's going to change all this and we've got the gauges that typically um, come with the GoPro. Your heading map up here, your uh, compass and your miles per hour or speedometer there's a g-force gauge right here speed tracker this goes up and down based on your speed throughout the video uh, the time the elevation in feet the altitude um, in feet and then a GoPro uh, logo up here now so if I were to play this um, it should show that all the data changing as I ride the motorcycle. But if I decide I want to try something else, I can go over to the gauge toolbox and oh let's see let's find a speedometer maybe this carbon speedo and we want to we'll put it in miles per hour since that's the data that we've got on the video um, and I believe I could just drag it over and there it is on the screen you can make it as fast or I mean as large as you want and position it wherever you wish. So now this gauge should show the miles per hour and it should be the same as the miles per hour down here. So you can see the, there's, you know, you've got so many choices that you could choose um, and you can arrange it however you wish. You, I can remove all these GoPro gauges and the GoPro logo and put on 
whole custom set of gauges, however I wish, whatever information I wish to display. Um, and then, as you can see, I'm only on step two of the, the how-to or the help. Um, so if I kept going, it would basically guide me through all the how to save it, how to synchronize it if needed, um, and then how to, you know, how to, you've got your video basically produced. So that's a, a, an overview of this software. Um, and it's, I know it's a quick overview, even though we're almost at 15 minutes here. Um, it just really, I, I like all the different choices you have. And uh, I'm going to play around with it. And then I'll probably put the, the uh, final result, the final video, in a separate video just because this one's already kind of a little too long. Um, but uh, I hope that helps. It, this is free software you can get online. Um, I think Dashware is working with GoPro somehow um, to provide them with, with gauges or uh, somehow they're cooperating with each other, I think I recall reading. Um, but from what I've seen, it's really a great piece of software to uh, be able to add all this information and telemetry from your GoPro's uh, GPS. So that's it, and I hope this has been helpful.